You ever wondered why mashed potato is such a staple in many homes? Well, that's because it's so easy to make and everybody in the household can indulge, even babies. It is also very inexpensive to make. It's even been known as peasant's food. Although I humbly disagree because you can throw a few things at mashed potatoes and really take it up a notch. Now, I'm keeping things really simple today because, hey, simplicity always wins. You need only four russet potatoes. And why russet? Because they have less starch content. So they have enough just to mash it real smooth offering that velvety, silky, smooth, luscious feel every mashed potato lover must have in their mashed potatoes. And so first you peel the potatoes, wash them, cut into even small size pieces, then place them in cold water, season generously or to taste, and apply the lid to the pot, set it on the stove and cook. Cook until they're fork tender. That should take about 15 minutes. While they're cooking, I'm going to melt some butter, warm up some cream, and then infuse these two cloves of garlic into the cream and the butter. You need a stick of unsalted butter. And the conversion into cups is just half a cup. You also need half a cup of heavy cream. You can use half and half if that's what you prefer and that's totally fine. Now set on the stove on medium low heat and start melting away. Friends, all you want to do is heat up the heavy cream, melt the butter entirely, allowing the residual heat to continue pooling and extracting the garlic essence into the mixture. After 15 minutes of boiling the potatoes, they should be cooked through, and each piece in there should be fork tender and evenly cooked too. Now, I highly recommend using a potato ricer if you have one for making mashed potatoes because not only do they mash the potatoes, they also introduce air and prevents that starchy feel we don't like that causes gumminess. Although, if you choose to use the russet potatoes, then you should have already avoided that problem. But potato riser is highly recommended. Now, in the absence of a potato riser, use a strainer with large holes and use a wooden ladle to force the potatoes through those holes and you'll have the same effect as using the potato ricer. Now I have gone in and removed the crushed garlic pieces from the heavy cream and butter mixture. And as you can see, it is still nice and warm. Now pour that into your potatoes and begin stirring to combine. Do not vigorously stir because then you might introduce that gumminess, that starchy feel we don't want in our mashed potatoes. A couple pinches of crushed black pepper should go a long way to introduce just a little more flavor. Now, if you like nutmeg in your mashed potatoes, this is the time you want to put just a pinch, only a pinch, all right, into it. Like I said, we're keeping things nice and simple today. It is equally delicious and we are already serving. Rich in flavor, yet still light in texture and feel. Mashed potatoes, you'll never go wrong with some good old mashed potatoes, a quintessential side dish. Serving today with some roasted chicken alongside some carrots that have been candied in a herbaceous sauce. And of course that gravy, which we actually got from roasting the chicken. Recipes coming up soon. Look at that bite, friends. If that is not calling your name, then what is your name, friends? Please drop a comment in the comment section, friends. I hope that this has inspired you or is going to guide you in making your next mashed potatoes. Thanks so much for watching. Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below and don't forget to share the video as well. Also watch more videos.
It is chop time and here in Anava's kitchen, chop time is always yes friends. So pull up a chair. We are all friends and family here. 